Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to create infographics in Visme, which is a cloud-based, all-in-one visual content platform. So first, you want to do some prep work before creating your infographic. The first thing I did was gather my data that will be used to create my infographic. Next, I created a rough design sketch for the layout of the infographic. So essentially, it consisted of a header section, five main content areas, an embedded slide share presentation, and finally a footer. And this is how the final infographic came out. So now let's dive right into Visme. So I'm logged into my Visme account. Click the create new button to create your project. You will be brought to this page. Choose infographics. And then you'll be able to choose a template as you can see, there are tons of infographic templates to choose from in various categories. Now these templates are professionally designed and can be fully customized. So you can create your own infographics. So let me scroll back up. In this example, I'm going to use the blank template. So here we are in the Visme editor. And we have a blank block to start with. You can add more blank blocks by using this add button or use this add button down below. So I'll add a blank block by using the add button down below. You can then adjust the height of the blocks by using this handle like so. You can also add full blocks from pre-made templates by clicking this from template button. As you can see, there are a lot of pre-made blocks to choose from. I'm not going to add any of these pre-made blocks. Instead, I'm going to add content from this left sidebar. I'm going to start by adding a title by clicking it. And then I'll copy and paste my text. Next, I'll reposition the text box and then change the font color. In this graphics tab, I'll look for an icon that I can use in this header section and accordingly place it next to the text box and adjust its position as well as adjust the height of the block. Next, I'll click on the block and change the background color to light green, like so. Now let's move to the next section. Under the Basics tab, I'll go to the Graphics and Text section, and I'll choose this one. I only want the top portion, so I'll ungroup and delete the bottom portion, and then regroup it and adjust the position, like so. I'll copy and paste my text and change the color. Next, under the Basics tab, I'll go to the Stats and Figures section and add a chart. I've obviously made some edits to it, as well as another headline text and text box, like so. And next, I'll duplicate the second section by using this duplicate button, like so, and change the background color to green, like so. Next, I'll just delete these unwanted sections from the duplicated block and change the title to To and Mobile Usage. And under the icons and shapes, I'll add a mobile phone icon and then change its color to green. And then add a text box with the relevant content in it. Similarly, I created the other sections of the infographic by duplicating blocks and editing the content. I'm going to add another blank block and I'll show you how to embed a slide share presentation. Under the media tab, click on this embed online content option. You will see this dialog box pop up. Enter the embed code into this box and click done. So here is the embedded slide share presentation and you may need to adjust the height of the block. Finally, I added another block as a footer for credits. You will notice that I've also added social media icons, which can be hyperlinked to your social media accounts. Similarly, I've hyperlinked this Visme logo. And once you've finished creating your infographic, you can preview and share it as well as publish it online. I'll be creating a separate tutorial to show you how to do this. This of course was just a basic example, but you will probably find it easier to use pre-made templates to create your infographics. You can try Visme for free. Check the link in the description section where you will also find the link to this published infographic.
Well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Look for more VizMe tutorials. And thanks for watching.